This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, I'll be discussing solid and mesh objects. Solids are essentially single or multiple nerve surfaces joined together to create a solid. Some basic solids, referred to as primitives, are available in the solid menu. For example, box. I'm going to use the corner to corner height construction method. Click one corner, another corner, come down to the front view, and click again. We can see that this box is made from six planes. It's very important that when you construct solids in Rhino, the surfaces are joined exactly at the edges to create what is called a watertight object. We can check if an object is watertight or what's referred to as having naked edges by going to the Analyze menu and going to Edge Tools and Show Edges. I'm going to select the object and right click and the Edge Analysis dialog appears. We can see in the command history that there are 12 edges and there are no naked edges. If there were naked edges and we have the naked edges radio button checked, then we would see the naked edges highlighted in pink. If we turn on all edges, you can see that the 12 edges are highlighted. I want to show you some naked edges. I'm going to remove one of the surfaces on this object. I'm going to go ahead and shade this in. I'm going to extract one of these surfaces. Under Solid is Extract Surface. I'm going to select this surface on the side here and right click and press the Delete key. Now this box is missing one side. This object is no longer watertight and will not work well for 3D printing or manufacturing purposes. If I go to Analyze Edge Tools Show Edges, select this object and right click, we can see that we have four naked edges. I'll check the Naked Edges radio button, and we can see the four naked edges highlighted in pink. When we discuss more about 3D printing and using our 3D models for manufacturing, you'll see why having watertight or closed solid objects becomes important. I'm going to back up by clicking on the Undo button. Now we're back to having a solid box. We discussed in a previous lesson about the rendering meshes that are used in order to shade in an object such as this box. There are also mesh objects themselves. If you create a NURBS 3D model and you want to use it for 3D printing, ultimately it gets converted to a mesh object. Some programs, like for CNC machining, you export the NURBS object and the other software packages will convert it using their own meshing algorithms. If you would like to mesh your object in Rhino, we can do so by choosing Mesh from NURBS object. I'll select the object and press Enter. And now we have some settings. Some basic settings that you can use for creating meshes is to set everything to zero besides this number here, Maximum Distance Edge to Surface. What this number is, is essentially the maximum allowable change between the original object and the new object. I'm working in millimeters, so I have this set to two thousandths of a millimeter. You want to make sure that regardless of what settings you choose, you check the Refine Mesh option. If Refine Mesh is not checked, Rhino may not actually achieve the tolerances that you've specified in the dialog box. Click OK. And now we have a mesh. Create a mesh with 40 points and 28 polygons. I can click and the selection menu appears and I have a mesh and a poly surface. I'm going to select the mesh and drag it away. So you can see that now we have a mesh object created from this box. When using the shaded mode and viewing different objects such as meshes and NURB surfaces, we can change the appearance. If we go to Tools and Options, Appearance, click on the little plus sign, 
go to the advanced settings and select shaded. We can turn on or off the ISO curves and the mesh wires. I can turn the mesh wires back on and click OK and now you can see that we have the mesh wires or the facet edges. We can check again with this mesh and make sure that this is a watertight closed object. We can see that this has no naked edges. This object can now be used for 3D printing and or rapid prototyping. This concludes the basics of 3D solids and mesh objects.